हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस इस वीडियो के अंदर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फॉर द वन ऑफ द गुड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ रेशियो द प्रॉब्लम इज लाइक वन ईयर अगो द रेशियो बिटवीन ए एंड बी सैलरी वॉज थ्री इज टू फाइव द रेशियो ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल सैलरी ऑफ लास्ट ईयर एंड प्रेजेंट ईयर इज टू इज टू थ्री फोर इज टू फाइव रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ द टोटल सैलरी फॉर द प्रेजेंट ईयर इज रुपीज फोर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड फाइंड द प्रेजेंट सैलरी ऑफ वन ऑफ द वंडरफुल प्रॉब्लम वेयर दे आर ट्राइंग टू कंबाइन थ्री रेशियो इज इन वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ आई रीड वन ईयर अगो दैट मीन्स फॉर द लास्ट ईयर फॉर द लास्ट ईयर द सैलरी ऑफ ए एन बी आर इन द रेशियो थ्री इज टू फाइव and what do we want we want the ratio of the present year salary but for this what they have done they have given information for a and b last year and present year salary so what i do they have given a salary ratio for the last year and present year is 2 is to 3 right it is 2 is to Let us just assume salary of A for the last year be three x, right? So what I think last year salary for A is in the ratio of two is to three for last and present. So what I do last year salary of A is three x. I'll write three x over here. In the present year salary of A is question mark for me. I'll just do this cross multiplication to get the value of. Question mark. The question mark is three x into three. That is nine x and two in the divide. So it is nine x by two. So what I observe the present salary of A is nine x by two. So the present year salary of A is nine x by two. It is nine x by two. Similarly, if I think about B, the B salary for the last year and the present year is given as four is to five. So last year it is four, present year it is five. But what we have seen, the last year salary of A was three x, and last year salary of B will be five x. So the last year salary of B is five x, and the present year salary of B is question mark. So if I multiply, this is going to be five into five, that is twenty-five x, and this four in the divide, so it is twenty-five by four. So I'll write over here the present year salary is nothing but twenty-five x divided by four. What I do next? The next thing that I do is I want the ratio of this. So I'll take the ratio. The first thing that I observe is I can get this x cancelled. The next thing I try to cancel the denominator by multiplying the entire ratio by four. So if I multiply it by four, the entire ratio it is nine by two into four, twenty five by four into four. So what I observe four four cancel, this will become two. Right. So the final ratio is eighteen is to twenty-five. So what I find out, the total salary must be divided in this ratio. And what I observe, there are total forty-three parts. Right. That is going to be eighteen plus twenty-five. Total forty-three parts. So the total salary is forty-three to hundred. So I'll divide it by forty-three. So what I find out, forty-three hundred divided by forty-three. So it is going to be hundred. This hundred is your basically one part. So what is the salary of A? The present salary of A is eighteen parts. So the salary of A was eighteen part. If one part is hundred, the eighteen part is going to be eighteen hundred. That is option B. one of the wonderful problem that they can ask for i hope you understood the solution if not please let me know in the comment section if you like this video 
प्लीज शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल ओके चल बाय बाय विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो